Good evening, Southwest New Brunswick. This is Newsbreak 26. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. The 41st edition of the Kiwanis Father's Day 5 Mile Road Race took place over the weekend in St. Andrews. The event is one of the Super Series races, recognized by Run New Brunswick, attracting runners from around the province, including this year's overall winner, Pierre Lucroix of Moncton. Yes, it's the first time I come to St. Andrews and it, it's really pretty. Many locals competed in the event as well, including father-son duo AJ and Cooper Kennedy, who have made a Father's Day tradition out of competing in the road race. We usually do it together. So, yeah. yeah. Who beat who this year? I beat him this year and last year. How does that feel, Dad? <laughs> um, well, I'm glad for him and I guess I have to do more training. <laughs> <laughs> the Huntsman Marine Science Centre has launched a family-friendly marine excursion scheduled around low tide. The Tidal Trek Beach Crab Grab offers visitors a unique experience to interact with the ocean floor while learning about marine life. We go out uh, onto the beach with guests on the trip and we're looking for uh, intratidal invasive species, the European green crab. Uh, and so we're going on this two hour excursion where people will learn to sex and identify uh, and do counts of these invasive crabs that we have around our beaches and in the intratidal zone. The Wesley United Church unveiled their new labyrinth on Thursday evening at a candlelit event. Visitors were invited to take a meditative walk through the labyrinth to experience its therapeutic effects. The labyrinth will be open to the public through the summer on Tuesday afternoons from 2 to 4 and on Thursday evenings from 6 to 8. And finally, St. Andrews woodcarver Sean Corrigan took home top honours in his division at the World Championship Wildfowl Carving Competition in Ocean City, Maryland, hosted by the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art. Corrigan's lifelike carving of a peregrine falcon won him first place in the Birds of Prey category in his division at the prestigious international awards known as the Olympics of Bird Carving. The raptors are, are something you, you never get too close to in real life, but uh, everyone loves them, appreciates them, and I just like the detail that I can add to them as an artist. That wasn't the only ribbon Corrigan took home. Of all of the carvings in my division, so best duck, best miniature carving, uh, best songbird, best bird of prey, they all compete for best of show, so, or best of the world at that division, and uh, I got third best of show. It was Corrigan's first time competing in the world, so we can't wait to see what he carves out for next year. Some of his competitive pieces from this year's competition will be on display at the Algonquin Resort. Corrigan's next big competition is right here in St. Andrews this August from the 9th to 11th at the New Brunswick Wood Carving Competition and Show, an event that Corrigan also co-founded. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and online exclusives, follow us on Facebook at chco.tv. A news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.